of all the aches and pains and illnesses that can put your day on hold. One of the biggest ones is when your child says their tummy hurts. So today we're talking about how to tell when it's a stomach ache or when it's something more serious. We're joined by Dr. Suresh Nagafan, a a uh, medical doctor for the Children's Unit at Moses Cone Hospital and a member of the Cone Health Medical Group. Good morning. Good morning. Hey, Good every, every parent has heard this, my okay. stomach hurts. Wh how do you differentiate? When do you know it could be something more serious? Well, first I'll tell you, I've been on both sides of this mm -hmm. issue as a parent and as a doctor, and it's yeah. miserable. So you've heard it coming from your kids I've heard too. it from my own kids. It's mm -hmm. miserable. Like They're throwing up all night. And yeah. They're up all night. You're up all night. You're mm -hmm. cleaning up. Um, so it's one. Of the, it's a tough thing that parents have to go through. Sure. Um, the first thing I would say for parents is that the vast majority of time, a stomach bug is something benign. It's not something that's a problem. Okay. Not that serious. It's going to happen. Um, time is your best friend. Um, as time goes by, things get better. Um, and the vast majority of time, it's caused by a virus, which means that you don't need an antibiotic or another medicine to make there's, it. There's no magic pill. There's no today. magic it, pill. It's just got to work. Right. Go go through it. It's got. It's got to run its course. Okay. Now the problem is. For sometimes that means it's a day, and sometimes mm -hmm. it means it's four or five days before things are getting better. Um, and is, I is, it, is it particular to the virus that would be involved here, or, or, or maybe how sick? If a child gets extremely mm -hmm. sick, it, the recovery time is going to take longer. It's a little bit. Of, it's a little bit of both. Okay. So it can be the specific virus that's causing it. Mm -hmm. But also, I've seen the same virus hit one child in a family, get better in a day. The next child over. Four or five days. Absolutely. And that just happens, and that's just individual variation, and that's okay. But the message for parents is don't worry. If it's been four or five days, it's still okay, mm -hmm. as long as your child's looking all right. Oh, okay, that's what most kids are going to mm -hmm. get, that stomach bug. When do you know if it's something more serious? What are the signs that you want to look that's for? That's a good question. Um, so there's a few messages I want people to know uh, when they're trying to decide, is this something more serious? So first off, if you notice that your child, you know, you're trying to give them fluids and they're just not keeping it down, everything's coming back up, they're having lots of diarrhea, and you start noticing that they're not peeing as much. And we're especially talking about infants. So if you notice infants are not having a wet diaper right. for half a day to a day, that's a sign that they might be starting to get dehydrated. Right. And that's a reason to see your doctor. That is reason for alarm mm -hmm. right there. Yep. Okay, so that's one thing to look for. Um, the second thing to look for is if you notice know blood in the stool. Mm -hmm. So blood in the stool can still be caused by a virus, but it makes us start thinking about, could this be something else? Could it be a bacteria or some other kinds of infection? So what we want you to do is come and see your doctor, They'll do a careful exam. They may even test the stool to see what specific bug is in there, mm -hmm. and that can help them decide what to do. Now, absent those two things, is longevity mm -hmm. something to be alarmed at? As you said, some kids might go th two mm -hmm. or three days. Is, is that alone enough to be alarmed not, about? Not in the two to three day range. Once mm -hmm. you get to about a week, then I think it's time to, sure. to go in, because most of the time, most bugs should be better by then. Yeah. Um, the other thing to look for mm -hmm. as a, just a sign of worry is if you notice your child's got pain and it's just on the right side. Now that is a sign of appendicitis. Okay. Um, and appendicitis can sometimes mimic a stomach bug. And so what we want people to see is like, oh, if you got that pain right particularly there, on the particularly right on the right though. side, bring them on in. Um, and then they might need an x-ray or an ultrasound or something else to, mm -hmm. to determine if there's something going on. I think any doctor would never mind a call. It, yeah. You're never wrong to check you're in. You're never wrong to check it, in. You believe you know, Absolutely. and trust in what the doctor says. Yeah. but. But, but, but you're good to ask the question, but realize that most things, as you said, 99% are probably mm -hmm. gonna run the course. They're gonna run their course. So, but yeah, I wouldn't hesitate. If you're kind of unsure, you're not sure if your kid's getting better or not mm -hmm. better, just come on in. We're always happy to, to see folks. Real quickly, what's the best treatment? As you said, fluids to, to keep them mm -hmm. hydrated, uh, crackers and things like that. Yeah, so I always tell people, fluids, fluids, fluids. The first three things are fluids, because that's really what gets you into trouble is getting dehydrated. Sure. Um, when you're talking about food, in the old days, we used to talk about a really specific kind of diet, and you mm -hmm. should only eat this, 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 and this. And now we sort of realize that it's okay. Like if they have an appetite and they want to eat anything you want to feed them, is okay. And whatever they feel milk, comfortable with. Whatever they feel comfortable with. Okay. Um, but do know that a lot of times kids aren't going to have much of an appetite. Sure. We've all been there ourselves, mm -hmm. and you don't feel that hungry for a few days, and that is okay. So if they don't have an appetite, you don't have to force it. But um, what if they want to eat? Whatever you want to give them is okay. Great advice. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Really appreciate it. You can find a lot more tools and resources for your child's medical needs by going to conehealth.com slash children. You can explore, kind of poke around there and find out more of what you're looking for. And for more information on illnesses related to your digestive system, go to conehealth.com slash gastroenterology. House Call on Fox 8 is sponsored by Cone Health.